This section heading is called Disabling Default Rule Sets. So what we're going to do in this section is we're going to take a look at and disable the default rule sets that come with your Snort installation. So once again, we're going to do this from Alice's end station over here. So now these rule sets are located in the rules directory, and they're down the following path. So we're going to list them, Snort, Rules, and then here are those rule sets. So you can see they're kind of grouped together based on category. So now I'm going to type clear. So now the next thing that we'll do is we'll see how those rule sets are actually applied when we run our filter. So they're applied through the Snort configuration file. So we're going to view them or view some of them by typing sudo sed. And we're just listing out a few to see where they're kind of start um, to be located within the configuration file. So we're going to use dash n. We're just going to take a look at where they start, which is lines 503 up to 524, because we can't actually view all of them within this terminal right here. So snort's configuration file is located down the following path, and it's snort.conf. So here's where they start in step 7. So we're going to disable all of these rule sets except for one and the reason we're not going to disable this one right here is because it's an empty rule set and this is where we're going to define our rules and the reason we're disabling all of the rest is because the rules that we define in here we don't want to have any kind of false positives we don't want to create a rule and then have you know something trigger we think it's our rule that actually is you know matching when in fact it's one of the default rules so that's why we're going to comment the rest of these out so now we only went up to 524, but all of these include statements that are including those rule sets go all the way down to 595. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw a common character essentially in front of each and every one of these lines. You can see over here some of them are already commented out, but it's much easier just to comment every line. So we'll throw kind of like a double comment. doesn't really matter. So I'm going to hit the up arrow key for this to do less typing, and then I'm going to go over here. So I'm just going to delete everything up to this dash. So now we want to edit the in place file. That's what that I means. And we're going to do from lines 513 down to 595. And we're going to substitute at the beginning of the line. And that's what this little caret here means. And we're going to put a common character. And then we'll just hit enter. Now we'll verify just again on those beginning lines that every you know that the common character was added. And we can see that it was.